Miguel, now you're in uh, in Copenhagen. How is New Orleans these days? Uh, New Orleans is doing fine. Music is blossoming, but weather's kind of bad. We're going into hurricane season, but it's, it's good. How, how is the music scene there? Is it as uh, good as uh, they say? There's new young talent coming up everywhere? There's quite a bit of new talent coming up in New Orleans. Uh, a lot of <coughs> new brass bands, a different style. Uh, me personally, I, I would like to see some of the traditional music come back in form as we used to have it, but uh, this is still good, it's all good. <laughs> Was a phone in, uh, in eighth grade at uh, Andrew J. Bell Junior High School in New Orleans, public school system. And I went all the way through uh, uh, professional studies at Zay University, a uh, gentleman with the symphony for a little while, you know, and until I had started playing on the streets with Doc Pauline Brass Band. And uh, it just went on from then. You know, was had the opportunity to uh, travel around abroad in Europe and throughout the United States playing too with the uh, show one more time mm -hmm. yeah, for many years. Are the band playing okay for you here? No, the band bands are playing quite well, quite well. You would be really surprised at some of the musicianship that is displayed here in Copenhagen to uh, Supreme here. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I guess they know more about New Orleans his music history than, than the people in New Orleans, in a way. Well, it, it's like the old saying, you know, if it's there in front of your face, you, you miss it. You know, but if you have to look for it, you, you, know, you find it quick, you know. So in New Orleans, it's there in front of our face, so we, we don't, you know, we don't 
it put as much emphasis on it, you know? You take it for granted. Yeah, there you go, take it for granted. What is it that is in that music? What, what do you think is in the music that's so important? I think the realism, the realism of, of, of having it done traditionally. It, it, it's, a, it's a cultural, it's also a cultural thing, not just a musical thing, you know, which some of the young guys just forget about. When, when the old guys were on the streets playing traditional music, everybody wore black and white, everybody wore a white hat, you know, funerals, black hat, you know, it had a purpose, you know, not just put on a pair of jeans and, and blow your horn and dance in the streets, you know. Second line came from something, you know, and, and, and the music came from something. When, when, you, when you buried someone, it was out of respect that you played for them the way you did. Not only in the first part, coming out of the church, playing slow dirges, you know, being mournful, you know. And then once that person has been cut loose, as they call it, you know, they let the body go, then you rejoice. And, and they've lost some of that tradition I, I grew up uh, uh, listening to Al Green and things like that, rhythm and blues, uh, things of that nature. But as I've become the blossom as a musician, you know, you realize that uh, 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 more apples in the bar barrel, you know, the more you get fed, you know? So you have to go from one to, uh, to another. I actually, uh, one of my, <laughs> it might sound funny, but one of my favorite artists uh, just to listen to because of, because of his diction because of the way he presents the song, is Mel Torme. <laughs> I, I like the way Mel Torme sings. Yeah, yeah you know, he, 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 he clearly states a song. That's what I like about him, you know. Yeah, just a little while you stay here. Just a little while you stay here. Just a little while to labor in a path that's always strange. Yeah, just a little hold of trouble in this long and simple day. Yeah, just a little while to stay. 